Hi there. How are you guys doing? Diana from Adirondack Girl at Heart. Today I want to talk about um, three categories of vintage and antiques that are selling well for me right now. I really, really wanted to share that with you guys so you can be looking for these things while you're out shopping or maybe you have some of them stored away in your garage or attic or wherever and you can pull them out and start selling them. Okay, so I'm going to jump right in. The first category is perfume and that might be surprising to some of you because it just might be a brand new area for you. Not everybody is aware that vintage perfume sells and it can sell really well especially on eBay. I have sold some on Etsy and I'll talk about that in a second. But right now, if you had to pick one place to sell vintage perfume, I would recommend eBay, okay? So one of my biggest sales lately was a brand new bottle of Cinnabar perfume. I've already shipped it out, but I have um, an example right here. It was this size. Um, I think it's 1.7 ounces. Let me see. Yeah, 1.75. It was a almost completely full, 95% full bottle with the original box. It sold for $97. Okay, so Cinnabar is still in production, but this is vintage. And I suspect that in this case, um, they changed the formulation at some point right? Has that ever happened to you? You have your favorite lipstick or you have your favorite perfume and they change it just slightly and it no longer smells the same to you or it doesn't look the same to you and that's frustrating and you want it and so you go online, you go on eBay or Etsy and you find it, okay? So this is Cinnabar by Estee Lauder and again it sold for $97 in the original box, okay? So it doesn't have to be full or new or full new or and it can even be empty okay so i have actually um these two listed on ebay i have two partial bottles and i have them listed on ebay i think for 49.99 so we'll see if those sell okay but an example of um, one a recent perfume that sold for me was Guerlain. Um, I can't remember the scent, but it's a round bottle with a glass cone-shaped lid. I sold that on Etsy with only about 5% of the contents and that sold for $22.99. Okay, so sometimes people are looking for the perfume and other times they are looking for the bottle. Okay, so that was a Guerlain, I think I'm pronouncing that right, um, vintage bottle with a little bit of perfume that sold for $22.99. And then my most recent perfume sale was a bottle of, um, I am not good at pronouncing these names, Calandra, Calandra by Paco Rabanne. It was a 3.4 ounce bottle, new in the box, and it sold for $20. It's not as popular as um, Cinnabar, but I paid $2.50 for that large bottle that sold for $20. And the um, Cinnabar that sold for $97, I paid $5 for that. Okay, so that's my recommendation. Buy up vintage perfume, research it on your phone while you're there at the sale, whether it's a garage sale or estate sale. Put that perfume in eBay and see what it's selling for. You might be surprised it might be worth your buying. So I have a few others that I have listed right now on eBay. This is Outspoken by Fergie. It's by Avon. I avoid Avon like the plague, um, but I researched this while I was at the sale, and at the time it was going for about $50. 
it's now more like 27 or $30, and that's what I have this listed at on eBay. And then another example I have also listed on eBay is Estee Lauder's Sensuous. So this is a half-filled bottle. It is vintage, and I have a little one to go with it, and it's listed for $50 right now on eBay. So I will report back to you about how that goes, okay? So the second category, go ahead and say hi if you're just joining in. Um, also, ask any questions in the comments, and hopefully I will see them right here on my screen, and I will try to answer them, okay? So if you have any questions about perfume, go ahead and put them in the comments. And I have a mystery bottle of perfume here that I just wanted to show you guys and see if anybody knew what this might be. It is unlabeled. It's got this little design on the cap absolutely nothing on the bottom it's a spray perfume and it doesn't smell too bad it's kind of powdery I thought someone might know what it is okay category number two is mercury glass garlands and you might be sick of hearing me talk about <laughs> vintage Christmas but now is the time to be buying and selling it okay so mercury glass garden garlands sell really well for me on Etsy I'm sorry on eBay and I just sold this one it's 102 inches multicolored double beaded okay so double beads mean means that each bead has two spheres on it if you can see that i hope you can see that that's not too close okay so that garland just sold on ebay for 27 dollars 20 i had it listed for 32.99 and two days after i listed it i got the offer of 27 $27.20. I took the offer because it was very close to my asking price and um, I just, money in my hand is worth more than money not in my hand. <laughs> so I took the offer and I'll be shipping that out later today. And I am going to list another garland. This is plain gold with really quite large beads are they're about a quarter of an inch in diameter and this one will sell i hope in the um more like the 20 dollar range um not as exciting as that multi-colored example okay so keep an eye out for mercury glass garlands if you want to learn more about them about where to look for them um, how to repair them. This one I spent a little bit of time repairing. I did a video and it's going in my course, in my very vintage Christmas course. I already have a video in there of repairs, but I like this video better, so I'm replacing it with this one. So I did some repairs, some really mild, easy repairs to this one. Um, if you want to learn more about how to sell them and how to price them, and some of the history of them, then you're gonna want my course, Very Vintage Christmas, and I have a very, very special deal coming up on it very soon, okay? So the two things that you should be looking for and buying, if you already have them, dig them out from wherever they are, are vintage perfume, vintage perfume bottles, mercury glass garlands, and then the third thing I wanna mention, um, and I meant to have some examples, um, can you hang on just a second? I'm gonna go grab some. So uh, about a month ago, I mentioned that Etsy had talked about vintage brooches being very popular this season. And so I have been listing them like crazy in my Etsy shop and I have sold three so far for a total of 80, hi Joyce, for a total of $85, okay? That's three vintage brooches for $85 in the last month, in the last about five uh, weeks. I started listing them in October. And um, 
So one of them was a clear rhinestone circle pin, really more like a wreath pin. It was three layers of crystal clear rhinestones. It sold for $26. A topaz rhinestone brooch in a square shape sold for $26. These are all a nicer prong set um, brooches. And then the third one just sold, it was um, had pearls and crystals and it had these dangly bits. Uh, I have a little video of it I will post below in the comments, okay? So here are some examples of some that I have listed right now, just to give you an idea. They are definitely sort of higher end uh, brooches. Hi, Wendy. Um, none of them are signed right now. I, I do have one, a Weiss uh, brooch that I'm gonna list, but the, none of the ones that I've sold has been signed. This one isn't signed. I think I have this for $25.99, something like that. I didn't write that down. Um, The, the dangly one with the pearls and crystals, I had listed for $32.99, and the person who bought it was a repeat customer. I give my repeat customers on Etsy a 20% coupon, and she used that. So she got it for $26.40, which was a good deal for her and a good deal for me. Here's another example. This one is really, really beautiful. I think I have uh, this listed for 40, 42, something like that. It's multi-layered. Again, it is not marked. There's no mark on the back, but it is beautiful. Prong set, floral, nice and shiny. And then this one is super interesting. It also has some dangly, dangly bits on it. I've never seen a pin like that. And, uh, I think I listed it for 31. Oh my gosh, my memory is completely shot. Um, so that's the three areas that I want to encourage you to be hunting for and to be listing or um, selling from your antique booth. That's um, vintage perfume, mercury glass garlands, and vintage brooches. Um, but as I mentioned, I am selling them primarily online right now, okay? So that's it for my recommendations. If you have any questions, go ahead, write them now in the comments and I'll answer them or write them later if you're watching this after the fact. Thanks for joining me today in my kitchen. It is a dark and dreary day. <laughs> my office is a little bit like a cave, so um, I'm coming to you from my kitchen. All right, thanks again for joining me, and as always, happy hunting.